Hello everyone. Welcome back to Maxim Automation. Today in this video, I'm going to discuss about iterator and how it is different with for each and for loop. So let's first discuss what an iterator is in Java. Iterator in Java is an interface that is used to iterate or traverse over a Java collection for a sequential access of items in the collection. To iterate over a Java collection, we can also use for each and for loop. Now you might be thinking about the difference between using an iterator and for each loop. Using an iterator over for each loop or for loop has few advantages. But first, let's see how to use an iterator to access the collection object. First of all, let me create an array list of type string which I'm going to use to store color names. And then to add element to the array list, you can use colors.add method and then pass the color name. Let me add a few more colors to the array list. Now to traverse through the elements of an array list, I'll use an iterator. And to create an iterator for a collection, you can type iterator of data type, which can be a string, integer, or any other data type. Based on the type, you have created your collection object. And then type collection object dot iterator method. Now to loop or iterate through a collection, we can use the iterator methods has next and next. So I'm going to create a while loop where I'll pass the iterator dot has next method. This has next method will keep returning true value until the last element is reached in the collection. When there are no more elements in the collection, then this has next method will return false. After that, to get the element from the collection, we can use an iterator dot next method. This method returns the next element in the iteration. If the iteration or collection of objects has no more elements left to iterate, then it throws the no such element exception. Now, if I run this, then it should print all the colors into the console. You can see here, it printed all the colors in the array list into this console. So this is how we can use the iterator to traverse through the elements of a collection. Now, if we talk about the advantage of using an iterator, then the first advantage is that using iterator interface, we can remove the item from the collection. But if we use for each loop, then we cannot modify the collection. Now, let's say I want to delete the element from the collection if the element is of red color. Then I can store the element in the variable. And then I can compare if the value is equal to red. And here I can type the iterator.remove method to remove the element from the collection. This remove method removes the last element returned by this iterator. If the next method has not yet been called, or the remove method has already been called after the last call to the next method, then we'll get the illegal state exception. So you cannot call the remove method again if it is already called. So first, you need to again call next method to return the next element. And then you can call the remove method to remove the last returned element. Now, as I have removed an element from the list, so let's initialize the iterator object again. And then I'll traverse to the element of collection. Now, because we have removed an element from the array list, so now it should only get two elements printed in the console. Let me run it again. You can see here. 
first it printed all the three elements into the console but the next time it only printed two elements because we removed the element of red color so now that is not getting printed here as well this is how you can remove the element from the collection now if we talk about the another advantage of using it then iterator can be used for any collection class for any collection class object we can use the iterator interface to access and update the element of the collection for example let me create another collection type which is a linked list of type string and here let me add country names in this collection now the benefit of using an iterator is that i can use it for any type of collection here i can replace the collection object from colors to list and if i run this then it will now print the country name in the console Here you can see it printed the country names in the console. So this is how iterator can be used for different type of collection object. And when you have to traverse through the collection multiple times in your framework, then you can create a function to traverse the collection by using an iterator. And the same function can be used for all the collections created in your framework. But if you use for each or for loop, in that case you have to rewrite the same logic at all the places also when we talk about the performance while using an iterator and for each loop to traverse the collection then both gives the same performance so there is no difference in the performance for iterator and for each loop but if you use a for loop for the collection which cannot be randomly accessed then your code performance will go down here the collection with no random access i mean the collection like link list which can only be accessed sequentially we cannot access any random element of link list like we can do in an array list in link list we have to traverse each element starting from the head and then we can access the next element so if you are using the collection which can be randomly accessed like this array list then you can use the for loop as well but if you are using the collection which can only be accessed sequentially like this link list then it is not recommended to use a for loop to traverse those collections in those cases you can use either iterator or for each loop and if you want to update the collection as well then it is recommended to use iterator over for each loop so that's all about the iterator and where to use iterator instead of for each or for loop i hope you liked this video please put your comments in the comment box also please do not forget to like and subscribe to the channel thank you